Okay, so here's the deal. The connector clips that I ordered, they never arrived. They are still today bouncing back and forth between Halifax and Richmond uh, because Renogy, when they were filling out the order, put the wrong postal code. So I don't know if I'll ever get that package. Um, this is the second one that I mentioned in my previous video. So what I did was I just went onto Amazon and I just ordered another set and they've arrived. <laughs> much to my relief so i'm finally able to install my second solar panel properly so what i'd done before this is i'd actually installed the panel onto the tilt rack and then i'd put it facing the opposite direction so it's facing north and it's covered up with a bit of cardboard that's so it doesn't try and generate any uh, electricity and then you know have nowhere to put it that could do damage to the panel and i didn't want that so the first thing that i had to do is actually use the connectors to make two extension cords from the leftover wire that I had from installing the first panel. That was pretty easy. Uh, you just use a crimping tool and away you go. And then I had to get up onto the roof and flip the solar panel around so that it was actually facing south. And then I found out that I'd actually made a mistake. And so here's me drilling holes so that I can recenter the solar panel on the mount so that it can tilt in both directions. After that, it was pretty simple to get it done at the correct angle for November. The second one, I decided that I would tilt it down a lot lower because obviously it can't go at the same angle. It'll shade the other panel. So I've put it at an angle that, according to some back of the napkin math, should not interfere. However, I have yet to have a sunny day where there's shadows being properly cast. Uh, as soon as I get one of those, I will of course get up at like 9 in the morning and look to see if it costs, casts a shadow. If it does, I'll lower it down a little bit. The first thing that I did was I covered up that panel and then I went down to look at my charge controller. This is Renogy's Wanderer and that little light on the far left means that the solar panel is charging. That means that the new one because is actually connected properly and I've connected these in parallel. Uh, that's the way to go in my opinion when with this sort of size of a system, especially once snow comes up uh, There's going to be shading on at least one of those panels probably constantly So that's my solution to get around that um, I'm just super happy to have my actual solar setup finally working with two panels that I can uh, tilt and adjust and play around with I find that fascinating. I've ordered a MPPT charge controller. It's the Tracer AN by Epever. That should be here soon. So once I get that, I'll be able to actually see some stats. Unfortunately, I the Wanderer doesn't give you any stats. So I have no clue what the amperage was, what I was drawing before uh, with the panel flat and all that with the PWM Renogy Wanderer. Uh, no way to tell that really without, you know, getting um, another tool or something like that. But once that new one arrives, I'll be able to get more out of my system for sure. The ultimate plan is to also add on to the battery bank so that I can get enough charge on cloudy days to actually charge it up and then use it uh, with the 200 watts of solar and the MPPT charger and then hopefully uh, be able to have a bigger battery bank to draw on when I need the lights. Today was mostly overcast sort of storm clouds. Uh, it rained quite uh, harshly last night Today, right now, the sky is blue, but the sun is too low. It's behind the house in front of me, so I'm not really getting much solar right now. Um, I know that for a fact. <laughs> um, but I'm just really happy that I've got my solar panel set up and working. So thank you guys so much for sticking with this. I'm so sorry that this video came out late. Uh, that was just me having to wait on this part. Uh, next week, I've got something really exciting. Uh, I'm finally finishing up my kitchen, so hopefully you guys are interested in that, and I'll see you then. Cheers.